der DDR. Und da hat Germans tell the world their past won't be repeated, but not everyone agrees. And Saddam Hussein goes to Kuwait to rally his troops. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw, reporting tonight from Berlin with Jane Pauley in New York. Good evening from the Brandenburg Gate once again, the first day in the new life of this nation, which still is haunted by its past. Peace was the prevailing theme today as German leaders received messages of congratulations from Presidents Bush, Gorbachev, and others. Peace and a new German army made up of troops from the East and West. The joining of these two armies represents what many said should never happen again, a single German state with a powerful military. But German leaders insist the old ways will not return. Thousands of German leftists aren't so sure. An estimated 15,000 marched against unification today, and the protests got out of hand for a time. Most Germans, however, celebrated this birthday of their new nation by taking to the streets in a more subdued fashion, a day to reflect on what else this century may bring to these proud, productive, and controversial people. In Washington, President Bush joined leaders around the world in congratulating the new German state. That no wall is ever strong enough to strangle the human spirit, that no wall can ever crush a nation's soul. He signed a proclamation designating this German American Day. And on the first day of this new nation, known for its TikTok efficiency, an unscheduled speaker managed to get on the stage at the state ceremonies and make some incoherent remarks about German wine before he was carried off. The new government was moving swiftly today to establish a new order. Soviet President Gorbachev is expected to come here next month to sign a new cooperation treaty. And the last man to run the East German spy network against the West was arrested tonight. And then there's the matter of Stasi. It was a modern Gestapo with thousands of East Germans spying on other East Germans. When the huge Stasi headquarters were open following the collapse of communist rule, East Germans learned Stasi agents opened everyone's mail, 